Rabbil Alameen. Fa'uzu billahi min shaitanir rajeem, bismillahi r-Rahmanir r-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salati wa salam ashraf al-mursaleen Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammad al-Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam bi madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidi ya Rasooli Kareem ya Habib al-Azim Madad ya Sayyidi ya Sultani al-Awliya man Shaykh Abdul Faiz al-Daghistani Sayyidi Shaykh Muhammad Nazma al-Hakani Mawlana Shaykh Shaykh Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad Adil, Ma'abd Khaliq al-Khushdawani Sahib Zaman Sayyid Muhammad al-Mahdi alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyifullah Sayyidina alayhi salam. Thumma Sayyidina Abbaqa Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al-Hasan alayhi salam, Imam al-Husayn alayhi salam, Sayyidatina Fatima al-Tazah alayhi salam. Fi barakat al-Barak alayhi salam, Musayra wa saddatina, wa siddiqin al-Fatiha. في بركة يوم الجمعة يا رب العرش نظيم هذا يا سيدي يا رسول الكريم فاوز بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول أول الأمر منكم الحمد لله as a reminder for myself أن عبدك العجيس الضعيف مسكين وظالم وجهل and but for the grace of Allah عز وجل there was still an existence and الحمد لله for the immense gift that Allah عز وجل gives to Ashiqeen and Muhibeen. The tariqah is a gift of love for the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad the yearning to enter into the Divinely Presence and this love its greatest gift is guidance. And alhamdulillah when Allah destines a servant to be granted this love because the love can't be achieved without the guidance. When Allah wants to write for the servant that, I'm going to grant you to love my Divinely Presence and the haqqaiq and reality of that is that, I'm going to grant you to love the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result Allah grants hidayat and guidance and this is a, the greatest gift that Allah can grant the servant is to grant him a guidance and a path to His Divine Presence, Divinely Realities and Divine… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago. Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the kingdom that can only be achieved by this Divinely love and good character whom the exemplar of that good character, the, the way of Sirat al-Mustaqeem, the straight path of Allah is the presence and soul and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mustafa bi madadakum wa nazarakum Sayyidi Ya Rasul al-Kareem Ya Habib al-Azim. And this is an immense gift. And as we see from their teachings, everything that been taught is unfolding. When you look to other people, they're just coming into it. They say, oh my God, look, it must be like last days. Oh my God, look at these events. Oh my God, look at what's happening. Oh, oh my, what's happening here? What's happening there? And as a symbol of the fool on the hill, there was a song in early times, the fool on the hill he sits and observes everything. And this was probably from the travels of those people who observed the pious people whom they call majdub, 
that they seem like they're disconnected to dunya people and the dunya people thinks them to be foolish. Oh, don't pay attention with them, don't sit with them, don't accompany them, they're kind of foolish people astaghfirullah because they don't have the same sight as dunya people. They have a tremendous foresight in which to see events that are coming, they understand the characteristics of humanity and they know what time it is, iqtarab as saat When Allah says that to look for the saat, the time and not only for the time but look for the clock, means then these guided souls whom we call the Ulul Amr, Ulul Amri minkum, Atiullah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri minkum is the order of Allah These Ulul Amr are what we call the awliya. They have a, a love for Allah and Allah has a love for them, you be with whom you love. This is Prophet Wasallam's promise. And they were taught by Allah to have an immense love for Prophet and as a result Prophet has a love for them You be with whom you love and whom you love will always be with you if you love the right people and the right person. Dunya people or people whom their hearts are not interested in the heavens, those are not the ones to love. But the ones whom are connected to the heavens and connected to eternity, their love has a value. Most love will attract you with a magnetic force to nothing. Imagine connecting your heart to a magnet that goes nowhere, a magnet that purely exists only on the material world and this material world is collapsing. And you look around, you turn the news and you see it's collapsing and you're connecting your heart to something from dunya and you put your heart and your love and your effort into it, it's a wasted attraction. And you see the result of that because we said that the upward strength of the star is a moral excellence on their head and on their forehead. Allah opens their what these people call, we have to speak in their language, if we give complicated Islamic terminology it's way over everybody's head, over my head too because I don't know those terminologies. So we speak from what they say, it's a third eye. Say you want this eye of intuition and Ahlul Basira, the people whom they have a vision through their heart of the unseen. This maqam al isan has to do with the strength of their Islam that into the right and in their heart is their iman and above is maqam al isan And Islam, real Islam not the something created by other organizations and pushed with petrodollars. Those are munafiqeen, you, we see them now, they're bringing liquor licenses, they're doing <laughs> everything forbidden and wonder why Allah's flooding them. This is not the Islam, the Islam of Sayyidina Muhammad with ishq, muhabbat and khuluq al azim the best of character, Allah says you have amazing character. That Islam is a light of guidance and knowledge and that their being Allah is dressing them with knowledges and as a result of their knowledges the priority of their knowledge comes to give them light within their heart because iman is love, faith is love. So it means we're our foundation of power Anybody who wants from the power of their soul and want to understand the opening of the power of their soul, their real submission, the kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, God's will must be done 
on an earthly plane who has and who exhibits God's will is not for interpretation because now the actions of men show themselves. Nobody needs to interpret anymore. So who are the people whom are getting hurt? Whom are the people whom are fasting? Whom are the people whom are praying? Means the signs of God's kingdom becomes apparent. That's why we said when Allah begin to squeeze the earth, everyone said they were sweet, everyone said they had faith. And then we look and we say that that can't be the way of the kingdom, the slaughtering and killing of people, the yelling and the screaming and all the exhibition of horrific uh, actions. People think that they can encourage violence for the arrival of their promised souls. And do you think any, any promised soul will come and say that, what did you do to bring me onto this earth? What did you encourage for the hastening of my arrival? Do you think this is what God wanted? That we call everybody to go out and rob everybody so that we can get money to build the masjid? The, the how you do is more important than what will be done. And that's why we keep saying and people don't seem to understand it's the struggle. The victory is for God, how He wants to send the Messiah, how He wants to send the Saviour is up to Allah up to God Almighty for all the faiths of people. But what He's interested in is the character and the means of their struggle. And as a result we see that the reality of submission to the heavenly kingdom becomes clear, it has to be based on good character. It has to be based on being exemplars of the faith and submitting my will to the will of the heavens. Respect for humanity, respect for creation, for creatures, for animals, for nature. The respecting of everything that is under the dominion of Allah God Almighty. As a result of those illuminated souls who truly practice the ways of the heavens, God opens in their heart a light. God grants within their heart faith. Faith is not something self-professed, I have faith, he has faith, she has faith. And we collectively come together and say, we have faith, but faith is a grant from Allah and that is a grant of love, not an earthly love, a Divinely love in which the soul of that individual has a Divine grace and love based on compassion and good manners. Means now their Islam and submission because Islam is an Arabic word that people keep to getting lost in. But my submission to the will of God, whether it be in Arabic, in Hebrew, in English or in Chinese, it is my submission to the will of God on the right side and the foundation of this reality in my soul. It should be opening a light within my heart and faith which equals love. Divine grace is Divine love. And when Allah loves the servant, He grants them iman and faith. As a result of the reality of their guidance, their knowledges, because their knowledges are illuminating them, don't do this and don't do that. Do this and do that. Based on character, Live your, your life by example, faith must be in action especially in these days. And as a result God is putting a, a light within their hearts. That love and that light and a Divinely love because they love the heavens and they love the prophetic realities and they love all holy books 
and all holy people because God loves them. And as a result of that love, that's a servant of faith, true heavenly faith. And God puts a light within their heart. As a result of their submitting to God's will, the opening of light within their heart and love and good character, everything with respect, then their third eye which is a eye that sees within the heavens, not the eye of earth, they're not remote viewers. Some people <laughs> send links to uh, these… Uh, from these sci-fi sites and say, Shaykh this is like what you're talking about, this is this guy he, he lives in this place and he does remote viewing for the CIA. No this is not that, this is not the CIA course, this is from a heavenly course in which God Almighty Allah is saying that your character is correct, you're trying to put your will down and bring My Divinely will into your heart. Because everything we know of God of being loving, compassionate and merciful is our theme, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Everything you do must be within that flavor and that aroma that your actions and deeds are based on in the name of God, most compassionate and most merciful. And as a result a light will be deposited within the heart of the servant. That light grants them a light within their understanding and reality, it's placed here but they don't see from here. That light burns their head not to think. That when God wants to illuminate the heart of the servant, He shuts off the head of the servant. So instead of the devil illuminating the head of the servant and overtaking and hijacking the servant, the light of the Divine enters within the head and begins to shut off every access from shaitan so that the heart is overtaking the head. And that's when the hadith is describing, we describe so many times the hadith of Qudsi. Well, as Allah just says, I become the hearing of that servant. Why? Because now the light has entered into the heart, will take over all the faculties of power that are symbol of, symbolic of the head because this is the crown of creation. But right now the devil wears the crown, he's taken your ears, he's taken your eyes, he speaks through your tongue. But to dethrone the devil and to bring back the heaven, the kingdom, the kingdom come and thy will be done, then I must overtake your hearing. Why? By good character and light. I become the hearing in which you hear. I'm going to overtake your seeing. Means then I become the seeing in which you see eternally. I will see through your eyes and you'll see through My Divinely grace. I become the speaking in which you speak, I'll use your tongue to reach to My creation. I'll become the breath in which you breathe, means you're not relying on the power and the energy of the material world, I will be your power, that your, your soul will be dressed by Divinely powers, Divinely grace and blessings. And as a result you become a walking servant of My Kingdom. How could you not be if I'm hearing through you, seeing through you, speaking through you, breathing through you? And that your hands, My hands are upon them and your feet wherever you move are in My footsteps. I have determined where you will walk. And as you walk the Kingdom of God is moving. These are the realities of guidance in the last days. From these servants of guidance, they guide their communities. Oh look, it looks like we're in the last chapter. Now people are, oh what's going on, what's going on? And you see the panic begin to set in and a result of of panicking and ignorance is the opposite of guidance. 
So those whom are studying with awliya, what happens? Under the guidance of awliya they're teaching that these are the last days. So when bad things are happening why are you getting angered? Why are you wanting to go out and protest? Protest to what? To God's will? And think that your will change His will? You don't seem to know what time it is and that's your program and that's your problem and that's your lack of guidance. And as a result of lack of guidance you will be punished by the hands of men whom have no mercy. You find yourself in the wrong place, wrong time and this is the punishment of your lack of guidance. And those whom are guided, they were guided by shaykhs, oh this is the last chapter. The last chapter is going to be very dark. In this last chapter hide yourself, what you're going out and think you're going to change God's will, disaster is coming, six out of seven people will die. Are you going to go out every time six out of seven people are dying? No, it's not your business. Your business to keep yourself safe, keep your family safe and pray Allah is happy with you. This is the training that been taught by awliya that keep yourself good, keep yourself with good deeds, keep your family close to you, train them to have good deeds and good character. As a result of that they're not ignorant. So with this system they taught their students Listen to the teaching that is Islam, Islam represents knowledge. If you don't follow the teaching you're not following Islam. There is no submission when you're ignorant, there's no submission when you're ignorant. Ignorance is, is, is a lack of knowledge, Islam came to illuminate this earth, real Islam not the munafiqeen invented version, the real one taught by tariqahs. That Islam is knowledge and knowledge has power. So those who are knowledgeable watching foolish people gathering, screaming, yelling, covering their face, chanting, yelling, screaming, none of which are the characteristics of the heavens. If you have a fight don't cover your face, go out and fight. If you have to cover your face with your cowardice, sit home. It's not the way of the heavens, it's not that time from the heavens. These are the satanic influence upon people to bring about God's anger. And when God's anger comes people whom have no mercy enter into every event because Allah's angry. When Allah's angry shaitan enters. If shaitan is there then people of guidance are never there because the two they don't match. The truth and falsehood never enter into the same arena. This is the immense power and blessings of guidance, this is not that time. This is the time in which ignorance fills the earth and shaitan abuses them. And as a result of ignorance, what's the companion to ignorance? Because if you're ignorant you don't have light and faith within your heart, you have anger and rage. Then it doesn't matter what you think your cause is, good, bad or indifferent, as soon as you're ignorant you have fire and rage. And as a result you go out fiery. What happens when two sides or even three sides of fire are in the same area? It become a, a campfire, it's not even a small fire, <laughs> fire on that side, fire on this side, fire on that side, 
it become a raging fire. And that's all shaitan wounds. It's not a controlled environment. There was a time in which you saw something wrong, you could correct it with your hand. That time passed. Then Prophet described a time will come when you see something wrong and try to correct it with your writing. Means you write about what was done wrong and say that this is wrong and change it and that time will pass and has passed. And a time will come in the end in which you see something wrong, all you can do is pray and get resolution within your heart. That is the time that is now. This is not a time in which any hand can change Allah's will. This is not a time in which nonsense foolish people going to nonsense foolish organizations and writing, change this. They're not the ones to change anything. They are hollow bananas. They're not even real fruit. And they all gather together, we're going to vote, we're going to vote, 150 people, nations, vote, 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 vote. Nothing will change. It's Allah's will. So Prophet described for that, that time will pass too. The time we have entered into is a time in which you see immense wrong and all you can do is pray. Put into your heart, Ya Rabbi what is wrong, save them in, from difficulty and protect me from azab and badness. And how, and this is the success of awliya, is how to keep ourselves against the tide of this negativity, do good deeds. Do good deeds in which you are under the nazar of Allah He's happy with the servant. Under the nazar of Prophet ﷺ, happy with the servant, making their istighfar, making their salawat. Then Qur'an, Holy Qur'an comes and guides, I will not punish them because your presence with them. And they're making istighfar. And we said this ayatul kareem is Allah's protection from Qur'an right now. We don't want Allah's anger. He says, I won't send my anger and punishment to you because the presence of Prophet is with you. The ashiqeen, those who are making durood and salawat a lot upon Prophet and they are making istighfar. And their shaykhs are guiding them, never go to protest because then the streets are owned by shaitan, the devil and demons. Your place to protest is in your heart and Allah never changes a condition of a people. Whether there's 10 of them, 5,000 of them, 5 million of them until these 5 million, 5,000 or 5 change what's within their hearts. If they don't purify themselves, if they don't clean themselves, if they don't wash their bad characteristics. Allah will wash you in an open environment so that He will change them and He will change all their conditions. And as a result ignorant people are gathering in ignorant and fiery places and people are astonished that, oh my gosh, a fire has erupted. And the tariqahs come and train, this is exactly why you needed tariqah. And this is exactly why the tariqahs should be pushed and promoted to people. That our people to propagate and, sh and send out links and send out all because this is a salvation for people that follow the guidance of shaykhs. This is not the time if you're upset. Pray within your heart and as a result of acknowledging oppression upon the earth then look to yourself and say, am I oppressing myself? I'm so concerned about people but I'm actually, am I concerned about my own grave? Am I concerned that I'm going to receive whatever I think of torment on this earth? Are you about to receive this from the angels in the grave? 
What kind of hypocritical thing is that, that you don't clean yourself, you're obsessed with the torment and difficulty of people, but you never think that you may be one whom is tormented within the grave by angels because of your bad character, bad desires, and you want to go out and represent people's rights? Everyone has to worry for their own right, their own oppression, their own bad character. And as a result I have to worry about what have I oppressed myself with? I'm so uh, fatuated by the oppression of those people upon other people, but what about my oppression upon myself? Why am I in this condition? Why is this world in this condition? And that was the Sufi path when the shaykh said, yes, don't look out for problems. You're responsible for your own problem. Why are you worried about all oh, these people doing wrong and never thinking to yourself, what am I doing wrong? Am I going to face this punishment from angels in my grave where they want to beat me, where they want to punish me, where they want to cleanse my tongue and cleanse my body and cleanse everything that I've done? And the tariqahs come and say, no then have the love of Prophet have the best of character, go out and do good deeds, put your faith in action. Every time you feed someone, do good for something, you give in charity, it takes away from bad character and bad desires. And the people who sit and meditate and contemplate, they begin to cry at night, that make me to be better. Don't let my hypocrisy to, to overtake me and continuously trying to find their faults and perfect themselves and make the world to be a better place by spreading love and hope and kindness. We pray that Allah grant us an understanding and that grant people to leave the way of shayateen and anger and, and ridiculous outfits and, and, and scaring people, covering your faces. People are guests in countries, they should obey the laws of the country. They have to be exemplars of faith and good character, not the representation of satanic values and satanic culture. Pray that Allah guide us to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and to the best of character and to the ways of awliyaullah fi samai wa fil ard. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs. Our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.